50s, I was probably uh, not more than 10 years old when that happened, but um, we named our daughter Katie after her, and so to carry on some, uh, <laughs> some tradition there, that's Katie, she's right here in the front row, totally embarrassed right now, <laughs> and this is Leela, the older daughter. Um, but I was like, this is, uh, this was one of those random, she got out of the shower, I said, you look like Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> we need to take a picture. And I'm like, it's a spitting image. <laughs> so that, that's pretty much all I've got. The, the stuff that I have up here, um, my dad has a lot of the things that survived. Um, I have a few of them that he's passed down to me. I've got uh, my grandfather's uh, dress uh, jacket his cap, his, um, no, the name of it escaped me, is it 50 flight, uh, 50 fish crown, <laughs> basically, and that's the one that you can tell that's the one that they didn't dress up in because they put their headset on and crushed it down. Um, there's also a couple pictures of him. There's a, a paper from his home, well, not his hometown, but my grandmother's hometown in Newton from a couple years ago where he was on the cover of their Veteran Day little newspaper, uh, some patches, uh, and then I have some articles and things that um, from when he went missing uh, and then ultimately when uh, they determined he had passed, there's a, a picture. There's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's my grandmother holding my dad and they're presenting him with, his, with my grandfather's air medal. Um, the insignia on that jacket, the jacket uh, didn't have anything on it. So the insignia, most of it is stuff that I bought to kind of put it back together. The one thing that is his is the, uh, is the wings on the left lapel. And uh, my dad has all the original insignia, and then he also has his uh, flight cap with his name across the top. <coughs> so not much, not much made it back, but what we do have, we're trying to keep in good shape. And with that, 